Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Alex. It's so nice to be with you. Um, I haven't seen people in a long time. I'm so glad to be here. It makes my heart feel great. Anyway, today I'm going to show you how to make your own sound catcher. Um, it's not very hard to do, but it's a lot of fun. Anyway, what you're going to need is some string. Any type of string will do. Scissors. Uh, and you need a clothes hanger. Now, you can have this kind of a clothes hanger or this kind that has the, um, the white part on the bottom. But if you have this kind of clothes hanger, you have to remove the white part. Maybe you can use that for some other exploration. And then what you're gonna do, I don't have a ruler. So what I, what, um, what I did is I just, I'm gonna take the string and I'm gonna measure it out. Can you see that I'm measuring it out all the way to, to the um, distance of my hands? And then I'm gonna cut that off and I'm going to fold it in half like this and if it's not exactly folded in half no worries don't get upset and then cut that and then I'm going to tie or you're going to tie one end of the string to this to one end of the clothes hanger alrighty and you have to tie a good knot, otherwise it comes untied or it slips, slips around because you're gonna be walking around. So if you're using this kind of clothes hanger, you would have the strings tied here and here. No worries, alrighty. So there's one side, here's my other side. Make sure you can see this. Goodness. Sometimes knots aren't easy to tie, are they? So, there we go. And I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna make this a really strong knot because they like to um, slide around and I don't want it to come untied. I would like for you to try and make this not yourself instead of an adult because I think you can do it. All right, so I've got my clothes hanger with two pieces of string. Hope you can see that. Okay, you're welcome to stop the video at any time and catch up with me, okay? So the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take my index finger or my pointer finger and I'm gonna wrap the string around it, but not really tight. We don't wanna cut off the blood flow to the end of your finger. That would not be good. Okay, so, and then I'm gonna do it with the other one so that I have two fingers wrapped in string. And it doesn't have to be even if it's like this, that's okay. If it's like this, that's okay. If your fingers are way down here, that's all okay. It doesn't matter with this test, okay? And then, Actually, I'm gonna wrap it a little bit more because I don't, it keeps wanting, my string is slippery. It wants to slip off my fingers. So now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk around and I'm going to um, hit this end of the, that end of the clothes hanger against objects. And I'm gonna see, what the sound like. I'm gonna listen to what the sound is like. And what I'd like for you to ask you first before you get started is, do you know what makes a sound? 
Anybody? Did I hear the word vibration? That's right. Vibrations make every single sound that you hear, whether it's a car or a bird or your dog barking, that is coming from a vibration that um, is traveling through the air, which is a gas, and it's going into your ear, okay? I should have done this first, but I'm gonna do it now. So anyway, take your hand and gently put your hand on your neck. I don't press really hard and say three times in a low voice, a medium voice, and a high voice. Say, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking. And can you feel those things in your throat moving? Do you know, does anybody know what the, what are those things in your throat that are moving? Well, of course, they're your vocal cords. And mine are moving a lot right now because I'm talking a lot right now. So I could just stand right there and feel my vocal cords moving. Now, I have to ask you, what is it that is making my vocal cords move? Does anybody know? It's your lungs, it's the air from your lungs traveling up your windpipe, going over the vocal cords. The vocal cords are vibrating like that and out come words. Now, um, in, the, in the end, obviously you're not gonna hear any, any words coming out of like anything that you tap uh, and you're not allowed to tap another person. So, um, uh, so let's get up and try this. Okay, so listen to the sounds. So everybody in your area should be quiet so that you can all listen to the sounds that are made. Hit other things. I'm gonna have to walk around so you won't see me for a little while. go hit this metal pig. Oh, that was a different sound. I was loud. Okay. So now you can even have someone take a spoon and tap the, um, the bottom of the clothes hanger and listen to that sound as well. Now what you're gonna do to make your own personal sound catcher, you're going to, you still have the string wrapped around your fingers. And do you see, here's your ear right here, here's my ear. And then there's this little thingy that kind of almost covers the inside of your ear. You're gonna put your finger on that little thingy. I don't know what it's called. It's right next to your the side of your face. And you're gonna put their other finger on the other little thingy, but you're not going to stick your fingers in your ears, okay? Um, and you're gonna make some observations. And go back and touch, tap, tap on the same things, whoa, tap on the same things that you tapped on before. Some of them. Wow, I wish you could talk to me. I'd love to hear what your observations are. But you can always um, probably send me uh, an email or perhaps through Seesaw or something and let me know what you discovered. Um, first thing you should remember is what makes all sounds. The, the, the vibrations and they travel through the air and they go into your ear and they hit your eardrum and hitting the eardrum that your eardrum it makes your eardrum vibrate and your eardrum sends those sounds to your brain which translates those random sounds 
into words or things that we recognize or and understand. So that's how the whole process of sound works. And um, it's really kind of cool. I think it's really, really cool. So that is what we're, we are, um, we're really finished with our activity today. I hope you had fun and take your sound catcher to other places. Um, I mean, I just I did it just right here because I'm trying to do a video, but go to other places like interesting things, test plastic, test glass, test metal, um, a wooden spoon, test a lot of different materials and make some observations which uh, are using describing words to tell about something, okay? I'll see you next week. I can't wait. Bye-bye. Well, my camera won't go off. It doesn't want to leave you.